Have you ever heard of delamination? Yeah, I'm not talking about your house falling apart or your RV or your wood um, cabinets or something like this. I'm talking about a hidden geophysical phenomenon, the delamination of the Indian plate. What is this, guys? And it could cause serious problems for India because the Indian plate has been colliding with the Eurasian plate for about 60 million years. And this is also the primary force behind the Himalayan mountain range, just by the way. But we have recent new studies, and that is really uh, strange, that suggest a surprising new development. So a portion of the Indian plate is undergoing delamination so how can a plate have delamination so there is a dense lower part of this plate that is detaching like really like if your rv wall or wood cabinet wall is delaminating it's really happening and then it's sinking beneath the surface and when did they uncover this because this is hard to uncover they have analyzed earthquake waves in the area and also helium isotopes in Tibetan springs. So interesting. And then you have to make the connection, but they did make this connection and it has revealed a vertical tear in the Indian plate that had not been detected previously. So let's look into this. What is this, guys? So what geologists are saying, and we know that about Africa, but now India is splitting in two and geologists are warning of major tectonic shifts and we always know what happens if there's major tectonic shifts there's usually major earthquakes as well so what is this guys the Indian plate is splitting into two parts and delamination seems to be the factor and it's a phenomenon that could reshape the region's geological landscape forever and it's a groundbreaking discovery that they have made about this delamination of the plate um it's really it's peeling apart the plate is peeling apart and then it's sinking into the mantle of the earth and this could have a long-term consequence for earthquake hazards and of also our understanding of plate tectonics, because delamination has never played a role before. A geodynamicist, I haven't even heard that this exists, at the Utrecht University, his name is Dow van Hinsbergen, has given a comment to this phenomenon. He says, we didn't know that continents could behave this way. And that is for the solid earth science, pretty fundamental, groundbreaking. And he says further, this finding of the delamination is fundamental because it suggests that not only does the plate have a varying thickness and varying characteristics across its surface but the underlying process that is driving these tectonic shifts seems to be much more dynamic and complex than they previously thought and than the science previously taught and understood so of course this delamination process could have significant consequences for the earthquake activity in the region and tectonic plates in regions of high compression like we have here in the Himalayan collision zone often exhibit multiple tears and these tears can influence the stress buildup and we know if stress is building up if a lot of stress is building up it is released sooner or later in an earthquake. The Tibetan Plateau, this is a region, and we just had an earthquake in that region. Um, it's already prone to seismic activity, so that's not new for that region, but they could experience even more instability because this research 
has found that the delaminated section of the Indian plate might cause shifting stress points that could result in very powerful seismic events. For example, the Kona Sangri rift, it's also, it's a deep fracture in the plateau. It could be directly tied to this ongoing tearing and that delamination process and therefore it is raising big concerns about the potential for a larger and also more frequent earthquakes in the region. So scientists but are also telling us that the available data, since this is so new, is still limited and that the full implications of this delamination process are not yet fully understood. They need to collect more data over a longer period of time. So, but they're stressing to us that the evidence points to a significant geological event that they found and they hope that they can conduct further studies as quickly as possible, collect more data so that they fully that they can fully comprehend the long-term effects of this process and how that affects the region's tectonic stability. They really need to hurry up with this one because the complex nature of tectonic interactions in the Indian subcontinent means that while this delamination could have of course, major, major consequences for the Earth's surface, um, the situation still remains fluid. So scientists for sure will need to continue analyzing the seismic waves as they did and also geochemical signatures, how they are called, so that they're able to track these tectonic changes over time and so that they really can assess the true scale and the earthquake threat, it might be bigger than they are estimating right now. And does this cracking of India's tectonic plate have global implications? That's the question that we're all raising. I'm sure you're raising that question, guys. At least I raised that question because the Indian plate is, is really, it's a critical component of the Earth's tectonic system. And that's why it's so important to understand its behavior. And it seems scientists haven't understood it correctly in the past because it has profound implications for global geological studies. And that's why this study is so groundbreaking. The discovery of this delamination has the potential, guys, and this is why it's so massive, to change how scientists view continental interactions, subjections, sliding along, and the plate tectonics as a whole on a broader scale. So researchers are now more focused on studying other continental regions for similar delamination occurrences, as this might really provide for every scientist and all over the world a deeper insight um, on the formation of mountain ranges, for example, and the dynamic process that overall has been and is driving um, the geological evolution of the Earth. And definitely what they can confirm already is that this process of delamination could help to explain not only the formation of the Himalayan mountains, but also offer new perspective on other mountain ranges and tectonic zones around the world. On the west coast here, Pacific Ring of Fire, there's mountain ranges, there's volcanoes. So maybe there's something like this going on as well, because this knowledge could really also influence maybe future earthquake preparedness if they find delamination in, in some certain spots. And of course, with that comes also the disaster response and the preparation, the, the disaster um, mitigation strategies in regions where the tectonic activity is most intense. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found this interesting. I will definitely follow up for you and see what, what they will find um, down the road. 
So if you like this, subscribe for more of that stuff, recent earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, everything like that. So hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends, share it everywhere, guys, to help this channel grow. And we just hit 68,000 subscribers. So thank you for that, guys. And if you want to support the channel, there's links in the descriptions. You can buy me a coffee or more. Thanks for that, guys. It really helps so much. It helps out my animals. Um, the link is in the description. It's a buymeacoffee.com slash silky. And of course, as always, thank you for your supers here. And if you'd like to become a supporting member of this channel to support the mem member with your membership, you're also getting something in return from me, like behind the scenes videos and stuff like that. Check out the playlist for the members. If that speaks to you, I'd love to have you as a member. So overall, guys, thank you so much for supporting this channel and for being such a wonderful community. Stay safe. I see you very soon, guys. And you should check out the end screen. This is really a very, very interesting video. So if you haven't seen it, I'll put two here. Check them out both. I know you can only click one, but you can go to my channel start page. I see you soon. Bye.